Hi everyone and welcome to module 1e of our Python full course for beginners. If you have not enrolled already, please subscribe and let's get right into it. So last time we had module 1d where we looked at the idea of a for loop and a list. So we said for num in this list of stuff, well the first time num takes the value of 1, so it prints 1, then it takes 2, prints 2, and the third time it prints 3. So we can write the code that way and it's perfectly fine but I'm gonna show you an equivalent way of writing this. So what I'm gonna do is actually go file, save a copy in drive, and it's going to spin up this new thing here. It says copy of what we just did. So it's not gonna mess up our other thing. Here's the other tab. I'm just going to delete that and change the copy one to for loops two. After this, I'll actually change the other one to for loops one, and this is module one E. So we wanna write this exact same code in a different way. And the purpose of that is not just to write the code in multiple ways, but we're gonna find out later that it's very, very useful to do this type of thing. So believe it or not, you actually know how you could write this differently because you know that you can say for name in some list of stuff, print whatever. Now, if I change num, and it doesn't actually matter what I'm calling it, but the often way to do this is for i, which is for index, so for now I'm just gonna write for index. For index in not this list, but instead something very similar, you might see where I'm going with this, zero, one, and two. Well now, if we have the list of one, two, three, I'll just copy that and put it in here. So if we print this thing, of course, you know what this would do. If we're not even using index, it's gonna go through three times, and it's gonna print the list of one, two, three, then the list of one, two, three, then the list of one, two, three, as it does right there. But we can write the same code as before by doing this thing, sub index. Because if the first time it takes the value of zero, well, that's saying, okay, this list sub zero, that should produce one, then the next time index would be one. Well, that's the second thing. And then the last time index would take the value of two, it would put two into this thing. So this thing sub two, it's going to produce the exact same results as before. And we'll find that we often want to do this as well. Both methods are very, very popular. And I will talk more in module one F.